Hello, thank you for clicking on the video. Uh, if you don't know what the title of this video is, it is actually going to be ranking all of this Banner Pass's um, skins because of the new Superbad skin. Um, so before we get into the video, please like, subscribe, comment down your epic username or just comment your list. Um, I'll try to look at all of them. Um, and yeah, um, please enjoy. Um, yep, yeah, let's get into it. So coming in at number seven, and this is gonna piss off a ton of people because I know some people like it. I personally don't like it. It's the it's the, it's the um uh Rick Sanchez skin now. The reason why before this anyone gets like uh, mad, the reason why is one I don't think it should be tier one hundred. I feel like crossover skins really shouldn't be tier one hundred. I don't think they make a purpose thing. Maybe tier 1, but not tier 100 at all. Um, and the other thing is, I just don't think Rick is that interesting. I don't think any of the new edit styles are that interesting. I mean, Toxic Rick's alright, and he's more interesting. But I personally don't really care for the Rick skin. Um, it's just kind of there, and I don't think it was that impressive. I didn't. I don't run it at all, and it's tier 100 skin. Not even a legendary, like, come on. Okay, anyway. I'll stop ranting about <laughs> Now, let's go on to number six. Now, number six is probably the weirdest skin in this battle pass, because it's Gajimon. Now, Gajimon is an interesting one, because I know a few people like this one. Like, I don't know how many people actually, like, thought it was the best one. But I know a ton of people did think it was pretty cool. At the start of the season, I thought it was damn cool. But as I've come to realise, I don't like his glider at all. I think the glider's my least favorite glider I have. Um... I actually really am not a fan of the way the skin is like shown because I don't I, don't, I just don't I just don't like how the um edit stars really don't change the skin much like if you had different colors for the skin maybe that could be kind of cool so they're just different colors for the clothes but yeah no it, it just didn't hit for me I'm sure it, I'm happy if anyone else enjoyed it but personally it was not my thing <sighs> now coming in at number five we have probably the most unusual pick, it's Joey. Now, I the full, only reason why I'm not a fan of Joey is because I personally never used the skin. Like, I don't remember using it last, like, in the past 30 days. Because I generally don't use the skin. I think the sandstone style's alright, but that's it. You've got the sandstone style, and that's it. You don't even have an edit style, so you can use the alien, like, style. It's, there's no edit style. I think that's a massive shame because I personally I don't like the base Joey. It's just not it's just not what good skins are. The the female I don't start the female alien stars are alright, but Joey, no, he's not vibes. Anyway, that's Joey. Rip here in the comments. Okay, coming in at number four. The fan favour of this battle pass is Dr. Sloan. Now the only reason why I don't I'm not like crazy of Dr. Sloan is because I personally think if you actually look at the skin compared to like battle pass skins, it's a girl in a cloak. You know? Like it's just nothing unique. I really like the shade star. I think it's a really good skin. Problem is I don't think it's unique enough for me to enjoy it. As much as I do like like run it and I just like the golden star right now to be honest. But yeah, it's just it's just didn't hit for me pop. Like, I thought it was cool, but, like, not to the extent of a lot of people thought it would be, like, amazing. And I think still people really do praise it highly, which I'm glad people else, other, other people can enjoy it. But personally, not my kind of cup of tea in a battle pass. I don't, if it was in the item shop, I do think it might be justified as an epic skin, but it would have to have a certain amount of edit stars for that to happen. Anyway, coming in number three, the newest one is Superman. I've got to say, first thing, I personally don't like him as much as I thought I would. One, you can't even get the Shadow Star. The pickaxe is probably my favourite thing about the sex. I think that looks god level, but personally, the skin is just kind of a bit big. <laughs> I don't like the Clark Kent star. I think he's really boring, and he's just not not what I kind of want to play. Superman's pretty cool, um, and I think he's better than Doctor Stone because he's more unique. But if it if like if it for instance take it like this. If Superman was just like, I don't know, maybe he was not 
licensed by like DC, you know, and they made a shitty knockoff version. <laughs> would anyone praise it highly? I do want to. I want to ask. Would you praise it highly if they made a shitty knockoff version? I I'd be interested. Anyway, yep. Superman comes in number three. Don't hate me. Number two, we have Sunny. <laughs> Okay, I just wanna I wanna I wanna make an official apology about the Doctor Stone thing. Because I know Sonny is not an interesting skin. Okay. But the only reason why I think Sloan is better than Sonny is better than Doctor Sloan is actually because and this is the only reason I actually really like the colours on this skin. I, I I'm not a fan of the Voyager style, I don't think that's amazing. I really like the beach kind of style, it's probably my favourite. The rainbow one's amazing, golden one's awesome, the silver one's like okay, and the purple part's pretty cool. And the base one's decent, but my least favorite is definitely the Voyager one. Overall, I actually really like it, and for a basic skin, I think they've done it handled it really well. Um, but please don't hate me because I like this one and don't like Dr. Sloan as much because it's purely my opinion, but you can like Dr. Sloan and I wouldn't hate you for it. In fact, you can like Rick and I wouldn't hate you for it. Um, it's just personally, um, I think Sunny's a really good skin. Anyway, <gasps> the number one spot, the best skin, in my opinion, in the Battle Pass, it's Zig. Now, Zig is the chunky thing in this Battle Pass, and I personally think Zig is my favourite, and the only reason probably is because I like chunky skins. <laughs> like, uh, my favourite sims in the game is Clark, and I think that's a god level skin. Um, I think he's really good, to be honest. I actually really like the Zig skin. I think the prismatic style, I actually think that's probably the, one of the best styles I've ever seen. I don't think it's quite as good as Clark Explosive, but it's, like, on the same level, just slightly below. Um, I really like the Zig skin, guys. Please go check it out, because I know that's easily going to be very underrated, because no one really likes bulky skins, and that's a bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Anyway, that's our list. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and comment down. Um, and yeah, um, have a good day.